Hey, Badass Business Owners, welcome back to the show. Have you ever had a habit that you wanted to work into your daily routine, but yet for some reason you just can't do it? Uh, You know, for example, one of the ones that I run into with a lot of small business owners is they want to look at their numbers on a regular basis, but for whatever reason, they just can't seem to make it part of their routine. Whether it's a monthly routine, a daily routine, or any kind of routine. Uh, Sometimes also there's other habits that we would like to be able to have in our business to where we know that if we do this first and then we do that, it, you know, kind of like a process, we usually call them processes. Believe it or not, they're habits. Uh, if you think about it, when you get up in the morning, one of the things that you do is you roll out of bed and then you have a habit trail, like a series of things that you do. Some people, they get up, they go to the bathroom, then they might brush their teeth, they might hop in the shower, whatever. There's a series that they do almost every single day. It kind of feels like Groundhog's Day, if you will. I know, like, for example, on Sundays, I try to fight that routine and just do something a little different. Even my dogs are used to my routine because they know exactly when they're going to get fed and they start going crazy. Otherwise, they'll just sit there and stare at me knowing that some other things have to occur first. Now, you're probably wondering, why am I telling you this? Well, I read the most amazing book the other day. Well, actually, I'm going to lie. I don't really read books like sitting down reading them, but I do audiobooks uh, and I get the same amount out of them. And I was excited about this book and I wanted to share it with you guys. And I want to tell you why. Uh, Not many books get me excited. And usually in most books, there's maybe half the book, if that, maybe a third that ever has a good nugget in there. Whenever I read a book or listen to a book, I'm looking for that nugget, that takeaway that makes it worth me paying that 20 bucks for that book or whatever it is. This particular book that I read, I was actually surprised. I was interested in it from beginning to end. It had that many good nuggets inside of it. It's called Atomic Habits. And I don't know if any of you guys have read that or not, but I highly recommend it to everybody. I'll put a link in the show notes for you as well. But I want to pull out a couple of concepts, if you don't mind, that I want to talk about so that I can relate it to your business and how it can really help you out. And it really had my eyes open to some habits that I have created over the years that I tend to do in business, which really help. The first concept, I'm not going to go over everything in the book, don't worry, but I just want to go over a couple of the things. I'm going to pick as an example for you as a business owner, your business numbers, because this is something that so many people struggle with. And by using the concepts, I can kind of give you an idea of what can help you with that. Now, the first thing you need to understand is in the book, he talks about the fact that our habits lead us to both the great things that we accomplish in life and the bad things that we accomplish in life. Let's just say that your routine is you wake up and you do those things we talked about, you brush your teeth, you hop in the shower. But if your immediate thing is to go sit down and do nothing and just watch TV, well, you're gonna find yourself doing that every single day and you're just missing out on that jump start of your day. Now that's different than making the very first thing you do, go sit down, have some coffee, maybe start reading something uh, and you're preparing your mind for the day and you say, then you start planning out your day and it rolls. One habit leads to another that gets you into moving towards your business and making things happen. So there's a difference between sitting down, having coffee and having other routines attached to it versus just sitting down and watching TV and saying, okay, I'll get to that later on today. Because most people, let's face it, once you sit down and you start getting into that veg mode, you're not going to get anything accomplished. So part of the reason why so many people are very productive and they, we want to say they're morning people. It's not that they're morning people. It's the fact that, you know what, they have created routines that get them moving towards their goals first thing in the morning. Part of the whole challenge is how do you create a success routine, a series of habits, if you will, that really get you towards your goals. And part of what he talks about in that is a lot of times we'll create this big goal that we want to try to do. We want to try to run a marathon or we want to try to read an entire book or whatever the case may be, even though that's not our nature. What he talks about is baby steps. And he doesn't use the word baby steps, but I'm going to call it baby steps. But it's about finding little baby habits that you can do that will lead to bigger things. So for example, he uses, if you want to run a marathon, the first habit you create isn't just getting out there and running. It's about putting your shoes next to your bed. And 
then that's a trigger for you that, hey, I need to put my shoes on. And then when you put those tennis shoes on, you go, ah, well, you know what, I've already got my tennis shoes on. I might as well go out for a walk or I might as well go out for a short run. It's taking little steps, doing little things. Same thing with reading. If reading is not something you normally do and it's not a habit that you have, then just taking five minutes every single morning and then doing that habit for five minutes. So just start reading for five minutes. If it's something good, you're going to continue that reading. But at least for the five minutes, you're working your way through and you can finish any kind of book, even if you're reading it five minutes a day. That made me think about when I decided that I was going to actually finish reading the entire Bible. Uh, I'm like most people, I've read parts of it and, you know, stopped and start many times. But I said, I'm going to go from beginning to end. So what I did is I created a five minute morning and I just read for five minutes every single morning. And usually that led to about 10 minutes. So usually it was between five, 10 minutes. I usually got through a page or two. And eventually, you know what, it took some time, but I got through the entire thing. So his concept of just doing a little bit at a time will lead to success is absolutely true. And I highly recommend it. And I found that I've done that with a lot of different things that if you just chip away, matter of fact, you can use it around your house. If you've got a cluttery house, then you just put five things away every single day. And pretty soon you're going to pick up the majority of that clutter, assuming you don't clutter six things a day versus just picking up five things a day. But anyways, let me bring this back to business. Now, the second part of this is you want to link it to another habit. So this way, one habit leads into the next habit. And if you think about it, if you go back to that morning routine, for most people, they automatically have these habits. Remember, I was telling you how they go to the bathroom, they brush their teeth, they hop in the shower. Brushing their teeth automatically says, hey, next trigger, I need to hop into the shower. And that's kind of how what you want to do with any new habit that you want to put into your routine. Now, I want to go back to when I ran the ice cream shop because I really did this when it came to business numbers. I would show up to the store around nine o'clock. We opened up at 11, but I get to the store around nine and I would come in and I would check out the condition of the store just to make sure that the, the ice cream shop was ready for the business for the day. But then I would go over to the register and I would pick up all the reports that spit out overnight. My next habit was I went into my office and I automatically started reviewing these numbers because I started putting them into a spreadsheet. And then I would spend the next 15, 20 minutes reviewing the numbers from the day before. And a lot of times that would lead to me wanting to explore to say, oh, how does the week look or how does the month look? And it really kept me in a great routine of looking at the numbers. Now, here's what's interesting. When I no longer had the ice cream shop and I was looking at my business numbers, I didn't have that anchor. I no longer had those triggers of coming in, seeing the reports, leading to this, this leading to that, list leading to this. And I had to create new sets of habits in order to be able to look at any kind of numbers because I had changed the routine that I was used to. Now, you're probably wondering, how does this work for you? Here's what I want you to try to at least think about doing or finding a version of how you are going to do this. How different would it be if you just attached to your routine the point where just before you started to do work, there's something you do right beforehand, whether that's having your coffee, if it's reading something, if it's you just roll right out of the shower and you start working, whatever that is, I want you to anchor to that to take five minutes, just five minutes and review the numbers from the day before. Review your sales from the day before, sit down and write them down. How much did you take in in money? How much did you spend on the costs? How many bills did you pay? What were those items? How much were they? And then how much potential profit do you have going? You know, that whole sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. If you do that every single morning, I'm telling you, your curiosity is going to want you to go, wow, okay, so that's what I did yesterday. I wonder what I've done for the week. And then you're going to look at the week. And what's happening is by you doing this every single morning for just five minutes before you run out the door to the first job that you have, what's going to end up happening is you're going to start becoming more in tune with what your sales are. Because there's a lot of business owners, when I ask them where are they at with sales for the week or even for the month, they have no idea. And if I asked them how much they did in sales the month before, they don't know. And a lot of times they're taking guess. And when we look at their numbers in real life, their guess is not close. It's it's in the ballpark, but I mean, they could be off thousands of dollars in many cases and definitely don't have a clue as to, to what they spent on their costs or their bills or their uh, whatever the case may be. 
by putting in this small little five minute routine, you're going to find that it's going to lead to bigger, bigger habits. And once again, we're trying to anchor you with these little tiny habits that are going to make a big difference in the long run. And I think that's why he calls them atomic habits, because they can blow up and really create a difference in your life. What I like about the book is it's not necessarily a business book. It is just about life in general on how to take your whole life to the next level, whether it's physical, emotional, uh, work-related, career-wise, whatever you want to really level up your yourself and the things around you, it's a great book for that. I really wish I would have come across this book when it first came out because it's that powerful. And like I said, I don't get excited about many books uh, and want to recommend them to everybody under the sun. But I'm telling you, I think that if you take a few minutes and read through, I think it's like the audiobook was like four hours. It wasn't that long at all. And I listened to it at one and a half speed. So I, it's definitely a book I'm going to try to listen to every single year. Uh, I always laugh when people read books over and over every single year. Uh, but I think this might be one that I try to put into a routine for me to to take a listen to. I think it's that powerful. But my main thing is I don't want to keep on rattling. But I think that ultimately, it's definitely something that you want to either listen to or read and try to implement one or two habits that are really going to help you in your life to level up. For some of us, it's all about, you know, I want to be healthier. So in order to be healthier, I've got to create and change the habits that I have. What are some little things that I can do? And what you might find is that you do that trick of putting the shoes by the bed. And it's like, if you've always struggled going off doing exercise, then it might be a great reminder for you to put them on and say, okay, well, I don't really think I have it in me, but oh, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll do this. Or I'll just walk down the street. And next thing you know, you're walking down the street and you're like doing okay. And you're going to keep going a little bit longer. I think that you're going to find that whatever it is in your life that you want to try to take to that next level, this book can really help you out by giving you some creative ideas on what you can do to help you on that quest that you're on, uh, whether it's building better relationships with people, putting in new habits, working less hours, it, it, there'll be triggers that you do. And I think that's a very powerful concept. Now I'm going to stop because I am rattling about this because I could keep talking about it. And I, I don't think I'm doing this book justice. I really don't. What I really want is for each of us to know that our habits are what have created the situation that we're in today, whether it's good or bad, habits are what got you there. And I think that by sitting back and really looking at the habits that you've built, we've done it so subconsciously that we don't even realize it. I mean, think about the last time you were driving home and that you didn't really have to think about getting home. You know why? Because you've created habits. You know what to do at that street corner. You know what to do at certain areas. You know, you know what speed to drive. You don't even have to look at the speed limit because you've created a habit of driving down that road, that speed limit every time that you do it. So there's so many little things that we already do with our habits that are become so, totally subconscious for you. All I'm trying to do is say that if there's things in your business or in your life that you really want to do, and you've been telling yourself for years that I want to do this, I think that this book can be very helpful for you because it can really help introduce this concept of these little baby steps that you can take that are really going to help you start creating a new pattern to where you just automatically do it. And when I think of business numbers, I think that just working in that five minute routine somewhere into your day where you're reviewing your sales from the day before, and by the way, there's nothing saying, don't review what's coming up for today. You can sit and say, okay, wow. Okay, I did 300 in sales yesterday. And what do I projected or what do I think I'm gonna do today? It just creating that mindset in that five minutes is going to completely turn around how you think and, and respond to knowing your business numbers. All right, with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Atomic Habits by James Clear. I highly recommend it. If you are interested, check out the show notes. I'll have a link down there for you uh, to check it out. But like I said, I did the audiobook of it and I got powerful information out of it. If you're a reader and like to sit down, then you know, definitely check out the book. But either way, it's it's totally worth it. And I think that you're going to find that you're going to get way more out of this one book than you have in a lot of the other ones. I would definitely put it up there in the, in the top uh, books that you can read for improvement self-improvement and really impact your life and your business. So with that, I'm going to get out of here. I've got some videos to go work on for the YouTube channel. And if you have not, visit us over 
on the YouTube channel yet, make sure you go check out Badass Small Business Owners, the channel over there. Uh, there's also a link in the show notes because that's where I do trainings where I can actually show you the numbers versus just tell you the numbers like we do here on the podcast. And it makes it way easier for you to understand uh, for those of you that are really trying to understand your business numbers better. And we've also got that course out there for you. So with that, I'm out here for real this time. I will talk to you later. Bye for now.